papás. Bueno, ya empezamos. Hey, Ivan, la introducción de la teacher. Y Ivan se fue. Ivan se fue. Ivan no está. Ahí está. Pero no está. Ivan. It's okay. Teacher. I'm sorry. Ya ven que me salaron. No, mejor hagamos la encuesta ahorita y después seguimos con la clase. Porque sí está lloviendo fuerte. En varios ¿Sí? lugares. Pero bueno, de hecho, ahorita se, me, se acaba de quitar la lluvia aquí. Eh, solo para, para fregarme vino. Entonces, Después sigue con nosotros, teacher. Mejor hagamos la encuesta. <risa> Viene para acá, para Santa Ana. Sí, sí. sí está 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 Viene en la Tudo. <risa> no, de hecho, no, bueno, de hecho, no um, tenemos una, una hora programada para la, para la encuesta. Eh, tenemos al, 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 al personal que nos, nos apoya a cierta hora. Entonces, uh, ya mm. tenemos ahí problemas. Bueno, les cross finger que no se va el internet. No, no, let's hope. Yo, y bueno, ahorita se me ha quitado, así que eh, espero que también para ustedes no tengan problemas. Okay. Guarne tenía issues también, que es por su zona. Ajá, es que es la misma zona. Y Urban no se le fue el, la luz. No, gracias a Dios, no, teacher. No se me fue la energía. Qué bueno. Ah, the, the turn, never turn off the electric energy. <laughs> Is this okay? Yeah. Actually, I, my, my blackout was very, very quick. It was like very, very, o sea, no duró mucho tiempo. El problema es de que el, para conectarse el internet me tardó un mundo. Okay, well, anyways, let's uh, continue. Um, okay, uh, so let's continue with um, Natalia. Who are you working with, Natalia? With Werner. Okay, go for it. Uh, so Werner, um, can you can you hear us? No, Warner. Okay, you might have to do it without Warner. Okay. Well, Warner, all that have... has information. Well, we we Warner discuss um, and the, the the kind of work that we do. Uh, so we ha, uh, we create a chart, but I don't create a chart in in Word. So in my notebook, <laughs> so I describe the chart. Okay. okay. The, the employee name is Jennifer Carson. The major tax of the position is make calls to the people that have debt. Yeah, this is a, a visor account. Okay. Um, training skill need, obviously, yes. Training solution, I, I uh, discovered that the training solution is shadowing. Shadowing is that the shadow of the cover the work of another employee that right. have to okay. do the same work. Shadowing, okay. mm -hmm. shadowing and practice and practice with another advisor account and learn and read the systems manual. Uh, what other areas would you like to improve? Uh, in this case, uh, to the advisor account is do some kind of administrative activities like payment tools and, and payment tools direct to the client. Also no transfer to the, uh, uh, um, uh, an, another employee that, it, that, uh, that do acti uh, administrative activities. You know, this advisor have to learn about these payment tools. And um, TNA done by Patricia Mason, they August 17th, organizing provider manager account. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Okay. All right. Um, let's see, let's continue. Uh, Edgar, Edgar Menjibar, who are you with? Sorry, teacher. No me. Excuse me, teacher. Este carajo no me deja. Me, me acabo de incorporar hace poco. Ah, 
los estuve escuchando, pero no, no hice. Ok. Um, ¿Tiene el por acá? ¿No estuvo ayer en clase, el, al final de la clase? Sí, estuve al final de la clase. ¿Con quién bien? trabajó? Conmigo, Yuri. Ok, perfecto. Oh, Yuri and Edgar. ¿Vas a hacer presenting? Yes, I am going to show you. Okay, wonderful. Sí, teacher, con Yuri. Sí, teacher, con Yuri trabajé. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Qué lindo el perrito. Lo siento. Es que está, está nervioso porque, porque está lloviendo. Ah. Bueno, well, tell me, you see my screen? We can see your screen. Yes. Okay. I'm going to begin. I'm going to tell the first three steps and my classmate is going to help me. Uh, employee name, Yuri Cruz. Major task of the position, business intelligence. Training solution, machine learning. What other areas would you like to improve? Deep learning. Can you help? Can you continue, Edgar? Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Mucho ruido hace tarde. No, don't worry about that, Edgar. It's okay. We can hear you. It's fine. Okay, uh, training a skill. Uh, yes, um, ENA, Dubai, uh, April, today, uh, Monday, 16, organized uh, human resource. Only that. Okay. Great, thank you, thank you. I have a question. What do you mean by machine learning? Uh, machine learning is a, a technology that is used to uh, determine a, a projection about a one a one measure. For example, if you, if you want to know what is going to be the price for uh, one article, one, one, one thing, you can use uh, machine learning. The machine learning use a statistic process to determine what is going to be the future of that product. And that is one of those applications that the machine learning has. Interesting. It's like marketing? Uh, no, is you can use for everything that you want. Mm -hmm. yeah, marketing is wow. one of those. But for example, I this I develop a model about Bitcoin price, mm -hmm. and I was speculating with that um, process of machine learning, determining what is going to be the future of the Bitcoin. But it's really complicated because that mar market is really a speculator. I don't know if what is that is correctly that word is very very volatile. Not established. Not established oh. market, maybe. Okay, yes. well that's interesting. I had never heard of that. Yes. Thank you know. very much. Thank you very much. All right. Very guys, very good guys. Actually, I'm going to look for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's continue with Wendy. Wendy, who are you working with? Hello, teacher. I work uh, with Yvonne and, and, Juan, and Juan Francisco. Yvonne and Juan Francisco. Okay, great. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, Jerry, if you want, you can, you can stop sharing. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, so we are ready for the three of you. Okay. Um, my name 
is Juan Molina. Uh, major task. Major task is supervise the motor function. The training skills, yes. And training solution is update knowledge and maintenance of motor function. And I don't know if is Yvonne here, maybe continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the date of training is September, Saturday, uh, 18. Organizer or provider is Wendy Moreno uh, as plan manager. Uh, training solution is update knowledge of maintenance of motor function. And other areas would you like to improve is maintenance of electric motors and generators. Only that. Okay, good. Uh, all right, Juan Francisco, are you gonna add something or is that it? Okay, teacher. No? No, no. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Excellent. Bravo. Okay. Um, who's next? Um, let me see. Who haven't I heard? Quien falta? Um, teacher, I am here. Teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. Hello, I'm everyone. Here. Yes, I can see you. Yes. yes. I, I had a problem with the internet. Oh, okay. It's okay. I, I totally understand that part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so is that everybody? Have I missed anybody? No, right? Just on todos. Okay. All right. Perfect, guys. Excellent. We're going to continue then uh, with the next part. Um, all right, please tell me if you can see this. Yes, it is. Okay, great. So then we have a conversation. The, the first thing is that what would you do if you can't afford to give time to your employees, uh, to your employees to receive? And do you think online courses are a good alternative options? Sorry, um, sorry, I should say to receive training. Okay, so imagine you were the a boss, right? So what would you do if you if you can't afford to give time to your employees to receive training? What would you do? So you you have you you need your 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 personnel to go to training, but you can't give them time off because that's money, you know that represents money. So what would you do? Maybe I trade some players with the information that maybe the the employee needs to know. Sorry, what did you say? You would do what? I create some players with the information that the employee needs to know. Some players. Players. Flyers. Oh, flyers. Flyers? Flyers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you would give them flyers to be able to um, kind of like um, the training. Training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Any other ideas? Any other ideas? No? Okay. What about this question? Do you think online courses are a good alternative option? Of course. Yes. Yes? Would you be willing to do an online course from work? Yeah. If, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. 
All right. And we're talking, we're, we're not talking about your work hours. We're talking about outside of working hours, right? Because they're not going to give you time. Like I said, it, they can't afford to give you time away. So would you instead do the online courses on your own time? Yeah, I can try. Yes, maybe taking half of my lunch time and 30 minutes for lunch and 30 minutes to invest. Okay. Won't be just, I guess, a few days, not every day. Right. Okay. What do you guys think? What we would need, you I guess that we need to uh, we need to give an extra mile. Mm -hmm. A what? An extra mile. An exclamado. No, extra mile. Extra mile. Oh. Maybe the sound go, is breaking down. Uh -huh. To go the extra mile. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yes. Mm hmm yeah that's true okay good all right now we have here um, a conversation between felix and julia so felix and julia um, are discussing um e-learning do you guys remember e-learning we talked about this before right e-learning is when you um do any type of learning uh with electronic means so instead of actually like, we are. like mm -hmm. we are doing right now. So this is e-learning, right? Where everybody is in from the comfort of their home. Um, I think you guys are at home. I, I hope you guys are. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait a sec. I see some people that are at work. I remember, yeah. So, but anyways, you do it from the comfort of wherever you are, right? And, um, and you're still learning, right? So that's what an e-learning is. So let's read this conversation. Um, you can open up your microphones and read it after me. Okay, so here we go. I'm having a training next week. I'm, I'm having, having a training, a training next, next week. week. Next week. But I have to travel to another city. But I, I have, have to travel, travel to another, to another city. city. Sounds like you will be busy. Sounds like you will be busy. 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 I'm taking an e learning training. I'm, I'm taking an e learning, -learning, 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 -learning training on kitchen safety. On, on, on kitchen safety. 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 Procedures. 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 This weekend. This weekend. This weekend. But I can take it from home. But I can, but I can take, take it from home. From home. From home. Cool. 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 I will ask. I will ask. I will ask. I will ask. For an for e learning options. For e learning, -learning options. options. Next time. Next, Next time. time. Yeah. 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 Look at the time. Look, Look at, at the time. time. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends. I'm meeting, meeting some friends. I'm meeting some friends. I'm meeting some friends. I'm meeting some friends. At a conference tonight. All right, questions about um see you later. About the, <laughs> about the see holiday. you later. <laughs> Bye. Then first. No, he says see you later at the end. <laughs> questions about the vocabulary? Oh, sorry. Oh, sure. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I you didn't even catch up, right? Sorry, it's just it's it's the thing is that um los tengo ahí a, el, el la barrita de de los de aquí abajo. So they say. Ajá, uh, ya le bro. You are presenting. Yes, exactly. There you go. Okay, now you guys, I guess it. See you later. See you later. See you later. Don't leave. Don't leave, guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, 
All right. So, anyways, guys, um, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, questions about vocabulary, like the actual meaning of the word. No, mm -mm. no I don't have. No. I heard one. Teacher, I heard one. Okay. What is it? A Ford. A Ford? Ford. Yes. I don't understand because for me is how to pay. No, can to pay. I can't see the word afford. Why can't oh, I see the word afford? Oh, I don't understand. Sorry, in the question, in the conversation, the first question. Oh, okay. You handle it. I was I was looking for it in the in the conversation. Um, afford, afford. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, uh, afford. Okay, uh, when you afford, it means afford means that you don't have enough resource for something. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't have enough resource, and the resource can either be money, mm -hmm. or it could be time. Right, so. Uh, so I can't afford it. it can mean I don't have enough resource of money to buy something. But in this context, it means I don't have enough resource of time to give to my employees. Does that make sense, Ervin? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. I didn't know that we can use that also for time. I thought it was just used for money. Yeah, I can. Um, I can't afford, it's like, um, mm -hmm. um, I, it's, it's almost like saying, um, how would you say it in Spanish? Um, no me puedo dar el lujo. Mm, that, that got it. Expression. Got it. Okay. No me uh -huh. puedo dar el lujo. O sea, it means like, I don't have, I, I don't, I, I, I don't have enough resource. Mm -hmm. for that. Got it. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Perfect. Now, um, any other? So we're all clear about the vocabulary. The pronunciation is also clear, right? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, good. Now, yes, if you teacher. notice, <laughs> if you notice in these this uh, conversation, we have words in bold. It says, "I'm having." We have will be busy, I'm taking, will ask, and I'm needing. All of these are, we're, uh, the whole conversation is talking about things about the future, right? But if you notice, we have different structures. The question is why? Why do we have different structures? And the answer is because we're going to be, we're learning here. Oh, Oh, wait a second. You know what? Okay. Um, all right. Well, actually, before we do that, um, let me ask, let's do these questions first. Okay. We'll do it together. Um, and because of time, we're going to do it together and we're just going to check the answers together, too. So look at the conversation and complete the sentences. So these are the sentences that we have. And this is the conversation that we just finished reading. Okay, so I want you to do this um, individually. I'll give you about two minutes to finish this. Shouldn't take you very long. Thank you. 
All right, guys, um, I'm guessing you guys are finished. Yes, we can. Okay, all right. So let's check the answers. Good, um, you guys can open right away, okay? Um, so here we go. Um, okay, so it says um, number one, I, I'm having. I'm having. I'm having. I'm having. I'm having. Okay. I am having. Good. I'm just going to keep it like that. And actually, we have a contraction here, but it really means I'm. Okay. I'm. All right. So that's what it means. So I'm having a training next week. Okay. Next. I'm taking. I'm taking. Taken. I'm, I'm taking learning training. Okay, good. I'm taking uh, an online an e learning training. Say, yeah. uh, training next on kitchen staff procedures. Okay. Um, number three. I will. I will. I will ask for email. Sorry, e learning options next time. And the last one is? I'm meeting. I'm meeting. meeting. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. So there you go. All right. So, um, so as I was mentioning before, uh, all of these um, structures were talking about, um, we're talking about um, things of the future, right? But if you notice, um, they we're not only talking about will, uh, which is something that we saw yet last class, right? We were talking about will. So today we're going to be talking about the difference between will and this structure here. What is the name of the structure? Present progressive. Present progressive. Present progressive. That's right. This is the present progressive. So we're going to be learning the difference between the present progressive and the uh, and will. Okay, that's what we're going to be learning. So let's continue here. Let's see. Okay, so um, hold on. Okay. One second here. No, we're going to do this one at the end if we have time. Sorry. Se me corrió. Okay, so we're doing this one right now. So we're going to be um, comparing two of, um, two of the future forms, two, two forms of the future. And the first one is. The first one is will, which we saw yesterday. And the second one, as we've been talking today, is the present progressive. Now, uh, I need somebody to a volunteer to help me read with the will. I can. OK, go for it. Um, go for it, Jose. OK. It is used to talk about future intention that are decided at the time of the speaking. The spontaneous offer from my uh, promise, promises and decision. I will help with the documents. They will ask about e-learning options, and we will we will be on time. Thank you. Okay, so um, just like we saw yesterday, we can use the. Um, we can use the the will for future intentions. Okay. 
uh, that we decide uh, at the time of the speaking, right? So when we when when we have a situation that makes us decide in that moment what we're going to do, okay? So it's a spontaneous decision, right? So at the time of speaking, so it can be either or a spontaneous, um, it could be a spontaneous offer, uh, promises and decisions, okay? So that's what we will. Now, I need a volunteer to read about the present progressive. Maybe, sir. Okay, go, on, go for it, Heidi. It is used when plans and arrangements have been made. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. The servers are having a training this weekend. He is meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. So this one is different from this one because this one's more about an intention, something you think is true. It's about a spontaneous offer, et cetera, et cetera. But in this case, we're talking about plans and arrangements. So you're like 99% sure that it's going to happen. Why? Because you've made arrangements for it. It's not just simply in your, in your mind or in your heart. It's actually something you've talked about it and you're pretty sure it's gonna happen because you've made the arrangements. Do you guys understand what are arrangements? How do you say arrangements in Spanish? Arreglo. Arreglos. O acuerdo. O acuerdo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in this case, it would be more like um, like a um, like a uh, arreglos. It would more be like arreglos. So um, and so here we have is flying, are having, um, is meeting right. Now the question that you're probably asking yourself, and if not, if you haven't asked yourself yet, you will ask yourself in the future. And so I'm going to answer right away is. What's the difference? How do you know if it's the if it's if the present progressive is used for the present or if it's used for the future? And the answer is because the there's usually either in the context or in the sentence itself there is a future time expression. Okay, um, for example, in here in this one, the future time expression is this for the conference. For the, the conference isn't going to be in the future. So obviously if you're gonna be flying to Los Angeles for the conference, it means it's gonna, you're gonna be flying in the future, not in the present, okay? And then we have this weekend. This weekend that's coming up will be the future, not the present, okay? And then in this one says tomorrow at 6 p.m. So obviously we know that it's not right now, but in the future, okay? Does that make sense? Does that make sense for so everybody? Or? The present progressive is happening right now, but it will be completed in the future. No, no. Both of these are for the future. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. And the difference between, because the present progressive can be used now. For example, uh -huh. we can say, we are studying English, mm -hmm. right? We are in front of a computer or mm -hmm. a cell phone, okay? Um, you are listening to the teacher. The teacher is explaining the class, et cetera, et cetera. So we're talking about things about the present, but here we're not talking about the present. We're talking about the future. So we can use the same form of the present progressive. And in case you don't remember what it is, let me write it down. The future progressive is composed by the subject. Okay plus um, be, the verb to be. Now, when I say be, be, I'm talking about any form of be in the present. So it can be is, are, or am to be more accurate. And then we have the verb plus ing. And if necessary, we have the complement. Okay, so this is a structure that Uh, we used uh, for the present progressive, okay? All right, now, um, 
Okay, so this is the present progressive. So how do you know if the present progressive is talking about the present or if it's talking about the future? The answer is this. There is a time expression usually in the sentence or in the context itself of the whole conversation mm -hmm. to let you know that we are talking about the future, okay? Like if you notice, for example, in the conversation that we saw between Felix and, and who was it, the other girls? Felix and Kim? What was the name of the other girl? Well, anyway, it's um, that girl. Uh, between them, uh, the they were talking about the future, right? They're all talking about the plans for the training that is going to happen in the future. Okay. Okay. Does that makes sense. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yes. Any questions? Había algo que entrar. No Um. Any questions? No, so it's clear. My explanation is clear for you guys. Yes, I understand that it will, we I will identify if it's a future or just the present progressive depending on the complement. Right. Key uh, words, for example, words, something yeah. that is not happening right now, but it will be it will happen this weekend or like in the example tomorrow yeah. at six p.m. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's what we call a time expression. Time expression. Okay. okay. Time expression. Exactly. Got it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, let's see if you guys understand this concept. We're going to complete some sentences. So complete the sentence using will or the present progressive. Example, would you like something, um, something to drink? Yes, please. I will have orange juice. Why? Because you are making a decision in that moment. Okay, or it's an intention to have orange juice. Okay, then complete number two, three, four, and five, and six. Okay, you can do this individually. Okay, so you can take notes of this structure. I'm going to be taking it off in a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go for it. You guys can complete individually. Guys, and I, I was so uh, um, I was so uh, excited about all the, the activities that we're doing, everything that I forgot about the the uh, attendance. The, I thought that you wouldn't no. take attendance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys can continue working on that, and I will take attendance while you guys work on that. Okay. So um, let's do this last time. Well, no, the second to last time. Uh, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. 
Um, Javi? Present teacher. Great. Um, Andres? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Dennis Orlando, I guess not, right? Um, Edgar? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Eddie Torleni, I guess not. Uh, Irvin? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Fabiola, I guess not. Heidi? Present teacher. Great. Um, Irene? Teacher, present teacher. Ivan? Ivan? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Josué? Vale. No te le quiera quitar la pala, voy a quitar yo la mangue. Ok. Great. Um, uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Great. Jerry? Present teacher. Great. Luis? Teacher. Great. Manuel Alejandro, I guess not. Uh, Natalia? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Wendy? Wendy, no? Present teacher. Right. Wonderful. Werner? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Great. Um, Edgar? Uh, Enriquez? I guess not. Elizabeth, no, right? Jose, uh, Jose Antonio, no, right? And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Great, okay, excellent. All right, guys, it's, uh, we're going to be checking the answers um, for uh, the, uh, the activity you guys were doing in a moment, because right now it's time for us to do our survey, okay? All right, so it's time for you guys to take out your um your message your email that you got okay so let's all get that ready okay and um you should you should have two things ready the first thing is the actual email that you got right uh with the information from your your um your company the second thing you need to do is um have the actual survey ready okay so i'm going to share with you the survey you and you guys should tell me tell me if you guys see it okay can you guys see it Yes, yes, teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Okay. So you guys should have this, make it big so you guys can see it. You guys should have something along these lines, right? Okay, so it should look something like this, right? Okay. All right, so um, the first thing you guys already know, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to um, say it one more time. Like, uh, what you need to do, guys, with this is you just have to copy and paste. Okay. Um, so, just a second. Oh. oh, sorry, guys. I let me just um, get this ready. That since my computer turned off, I wasn't able to it close and it um, close WhatsApp. So let me just get that information for you. Give me one second. Okay. All right, so what it is basically is right here, okay? Um, this one here where it says Orden de Inicio, all you gotta do is copy and paste. Okay, so lo único que van a hacer ahí es hacerle, eh, o sea, um, subrayarlo, ¿verdad? Para copy, después venimos acá y lo hacemos y le hacemos el, el, vamos a pegar ahí. 
Por favor, no se atrevan a estar escribiendo número por número, porque si no, nos vamos a equivocar. ¿Ok? Y nos vamos a olvidar de, de ponerle sus guiones y plecas y todo eso. Y después el número no va a estar correcto. Así es que, por favor, solamente copy paste. ¿Ok? Ok, bueno. Eh, ese paso número uno creo que ya está, ¿verdad? No está tan difícil. Ok, muy bien. Ahora aquí vamos el nombre completo. Si acaso usted no se acuerda cómo aparece en, um, en su DUI, porque tiene que ir de acuerdo al DUI. Entonces, si acaso no se acuerda, ¿verdad? Porque tal vez, no sé, por X motivo, no se acuerda si va, cómo van los apellidos o qué sé yo. Eh, nuevamente en el correo debería ir ahí su nombre completo. ¿Verdad? Y ahí lo va a poner nombre completo, tal como va en el DUI. ¿Ok? Entonces, primer nombre, segundo nombre, se aparece en su DUI así. ¿Verdad? Si aparece el nombre de casada también. Se aparece el D también. ¿Verdad? Todo tiene que ir exactamente como está en el DUI. ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? ¿No? ¿Todos estamos claros? Ok, muy bien. Continuamos con el próximo. Correo electrónico. Teacher, teacher, eh, una pregunta. ¿Será que nos puede poner el link? Porque, por ejemplo, en mi caso, en el WhatsApp, no se puede pegar el link. No, como que no venía el link completo. Ah, ok, ok. Vamos a ver. Eh, yes. Lo voy a pegar. Ok. Thank you. Ajá. No, eh, solo asegúrense que, que sí se puede abrir. Sí, nos puede pasar el código del, de la, del curso. Ah, no tiene el, el correo electrónico. Se lo puedo pasar, ¿verdad? Pero, pero lo ideal es que usted agarre toda la información de su correo electrónico que le han mandado para que no haya ningún problemita. Aquí les mando el de el, el, la orden de inicio. Ok. Vale. Ok. Eh, Gracias. Ok. Vale, entonces ahora, correo electrónico. Este correo electrónico, por favor, acuérdense que es el correo que ustedes dieron cuando se inscribieron. Entonces, eh, este es el correo electrónico que tiene Insafor escrito para ustedes. No va a ser un correo electrónico que usted acaba de abrir. No va a ser el personal si es que usted dio el, el trabajo o viceversa. Eh, entonces, tiene que ser tal como aparece en el, los registros de Insafor. ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? ¿No? Teacher, solo comentar que ahí hay en el WhatsApp del grupo, acaba de poner eh, una de las personas de soporte ya toda la información. Ah, bien. Excelente. Flor. Ok, gracias, Flor. Ok, muy bien. Está. Ok. Entonces, uh, continuamos ahí con el número celular. Lo mismo, eh, es la misma situación. Tiene que ser el número celular con el que se inscribieron cuando ustedes se inscribieron en Safor, ¿verdad? Aunque, bueno, sí, ajá, ya, es, aunque puede ser que ya no tengan ese número, pero ese tiene que ser y después ustedes pueden actualizar, ¿verdad? Pero, pero tiene que hacer con el, la información que tiene en esa forma. Um, luego, um, sexo femenino o masculino, ¿verdad? Departamento de residencia, ese es eh, donde usted reside en este momento. ¿Ok? De, um, entonces... Eh, pues aquí están los departamentos, usted escoge, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, pues el San Salvador, ¿verdad? Y después usted eh, escoge el municipio de residencia. Eh, este va a ser el, exactamente el, donde en el departamento usted vive, ¿verdad? 
Eh, no, esto, esto no es a dónde eh, trabajan, eh, por decirlo, tiene que ser a dónde exactamente viven, ni tampoco de dónde es originario, sino que en este momento a dónde está su residencia. También la empresa donde trabaja. Les recuerdo de que esta es la razón social, no es el nombre comercial de la empresa. No es como normalmente se conoce la empresa. Esto es la razón social, o sea, el nombre legal, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues en el pasado yo les he explicado, les he puesto de ejemplo, eh, nuestra compañía, ¿verdad? Se, normalmente, comercialmente se conoce como inglés corporativo, pero legalmente es Regional um, International, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, cambia por completo, ¿verdad? Entonces, tiene que ser exactamente con el nombre. Y esa información debe aparecerles en la información que se les ha mandado. Si hay alguien que no sabe, no tiene idea qué es, pues también me puede preguntar y yo le voy, mando la información de sus datos. ¿Ok? Pero yo creo que después de tanto tiempo haberlo hecho, yo creo que el Deberían de ya recordar más o menos para cómo es la cosa. Pero si no, no hay problema. Yo les, les, les apoyo con eso. Ok. ¿Cómo vamos? Ya, ya estamos todos en ese punto número 8. Ya podemos continuar. Con uh -huh. ¿Alguien más necesita tiempo? Bien, entonces continuamos. Nombre del proveedor, el proveedor con el que se capacitó. Esto es, es somos nosotros, inglés corporativo, y ustedes lo van a encontrar con una gran lista y tiene que buscar hasta encontrarnos que estamos acá. Inglés corporativo, entre paréntesis, Regal International, SADCB. A esto me refiero cuando les digo que el nombre social, ¿verdad? El nombre comercial es inglés corporativo. El, la razón social es Regal International, SADCB. Okay, entonces, eso es lo que ustedes van a poner en su, eh, en su empresa, ¿verdad? El nombre, el, lo, bueno, el nombre es, eh, de la razón social. Ok. Ok. Ahora, nombre del curso. Eso pues um, solo tienen que copy and paste nuevamente. Eh, eso está acá. ¿Va? Ustedes solo vienen, hacen copy y paste. Por favor, no pónganse a escribir nada porque una letrita se nos va y después cambia todo. Así que eh, exactamente tiene que ser inglés, intermedio, módulo 1. ¿Okay? No es um, intermedio 1. ¿verdad? No es um, intermediate one, no, es inglés, intermedio, módulo uno. Tiene que ir exactamente así. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos? ¿Vamos a seguir al próximo? Muy bien. Seguimos. Entonces, ahora, valore los siguientes aspectos uh, relativos al curso. Esto es algo que usted va a evaluar. Eh, en sí el curso, ¿ok? Eh, no, no quiero que usted piense, ah, por ejemplo, um, no quiero que usted evalúe eh, su rendimiento en el curso, ¿verdad? No, no, esto es directamente lo que tiene que ver con el curso en sí, ¿ok? Entonces, la primera pregunta es, ¿cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? Entonces, en otras palabras, ¿cómo considera usted que, eh, que sea el, el tiempo que se le ha dado para poder completar el curso. Siente que es uh, insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente. Y pues um, espero, pues yo creo que todos eh, andemos por esta área, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues, pero si no, pues también ustedes pueden poner sus respuestas, las que sean que ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? Las que consideran que va mejor con su opinión. 
Y hablando de opinión, la próxima es, ¿qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Entonces, ¿cómo está estructurado el curso, verdad, con el manual? Eh, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo le, le parece en sí el curso? ¿Verdad? Entonces, um, ahí usted pone su respuesta. Eh, ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Esto involucra todo lo que tiene que ver con herramientas tecnológicas. Que está pues el manual digital. Tenemos a um, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que utilizamos para hacer nuestros ejercicios. Eh, involucra también a... Um, eh, en sí, la plataforma de Zoom, eh, ¿verdad? El uso de, de ella, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Ok. Y usted pone lo que usted desea. Está presente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Ok. Eh, si, si pueden ustedes esperar un momento para que completemos todos la encuesta y después me, me la mandan, ¿ok? Les agradecería bastante. Ok. Próximamente vamos con la fecha de inicio del curso. Esa fecha es la siguiente. Vamos acá, regresamos y vamos acá. En la fecha de inicio del curso, nuevamente ustedes pueden ver que aquí es el... 06 um, del julio del 2021. Aquí no podemos copy and paste porque si ustedes notan es un calendario. Entonces vamos acá y nos ubicamos. ¿Qué, qué dije? Ah, dijimos el 6, ¿verdad? El 6. Ok, entonces empezamos este día. Ok, este día. Ah, entonces ya usted puede poner en el calendario y escoge la fecha. Finaliza el, uh, la fecha de uh, finalizo del curso. Esto, ¿se acuerdan que originalmente era una fecha, pero lo tuvimos que mover para el día de hoy? Entonces, esta es la fecha, 17 de agosto. Nuevamente, usted busca en el calendario y va a encontrar esa fecha, que es el día de hoy. Ups, no, oh, no, perdón. Esta era la anterior. Ok, aquí. Ok, muy bien. ¿Cuál es sí, su...? Sí, sí. Eso sería esta fecha de acá. La fecha de inicio del curso es el, eh, es el uh, 6 de julio. Okay. Okay. Entonces usted abre el, el calendario y busca la fecha. Okay. Y termina hoy 17, ¿verdad? Y termina hoy 17, correcto. Entonces esas son las dos fechas que vamos a manejar. ¿Ok? Próximamente dice, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Eh, ¿Está satisfecho o insatisfecho? Nuevamente, esto es en base a o con base en lo que ustedes han visto en el curso. Eh, si, por ejemplo, o, no, esto no tiene que ver en sí con eh, su... ¿verdad? Lo, las circunstancias que ha habido, eh, en, por ejemplo, en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Si tal vez no ha podido conectarse como ha querido y todo. No, eso no tiene nada que ver con eso. Tiene que ver con el curso en sí. Eh, ¿Qué clase de... Um, si usted siente de que eh, como institución les hemos apoyado, eh, siente usted que el curso ha fluido bien, siente usted que ha aprendido, ¿verdad? Que usted ha ido avanzando, ¿verdad? Que ha ido completando eh, esas metas que usted um, ha tenido. Si usted siente que se le ha dado un buen servicio, entonces usted pone ahí que está satisfecho. Si no siente que se le ha dado un buen servicio, entonces pone insatisfecho. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Ok, muy bien. Y de aquí, pues, mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Ahí usted pone lo que usted quiere, ¿verdad? O incluso ustedes ya vieron que um, estamos ofreciendo otros cursos, ¿verdad? Se les ha mandado la información ahí. Si ustedes están interesados en cursos o en otros cursos también, cualquier cosa. O incluso si usted no sabe que en Safor, eh, si en Safor eh, da esos cursos, pero usted está interesado en, en aprender sobre eso, 
puede poner eso también. Y por último, cualquier comentario que usted desee poner en cuanto a su aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, um, agradecimiento, lo que usted desee poner. ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento? Ok. Y por último, antes de enviar, no vamos a enviar todavía. Antes de enviar, vamos a regresar y hasta el principio y vamos a revisar las respuestas. De pronto, a veces se nos queda una respuesta, no por mala intención, sino que de repente no grabó la información que habíamos puesto. Así de que usted tiene que asegurarse de que haya completado todo y que toda la información sea, sea verídica, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces revise nuevamente. Para que todo esté completo, que esté correcto. Y al final, ya cuando haya hecho todo eso, ¿verdad? Entonces viene usted y le da enviar. Le da clic. Cuando le da enviar, le va a aparecer un cuadrito, ¿verdad? Que eh, le confirma que sí se ha enviado la, la encuesta. Le da las gracias y a ese cuadro, Usted, como sabe, va a tomarle una captura de imagen y la va a subir al grupo con su nombre abajo. O sea, en la foto, no solamente me mande la foto. En la parte de abajo, cuando usted va a mandar una foto, se sabe que le aparece un, um, una barra donde usted puede escribir algo, digitar algo. Y ahí donde usted va a poner su nombre completo para que al final yo pueda contar y pueda ver, ok, tengo tantos alumnos y tengo tantas encuestas, entonces estamos completos. O puedo decir, ah, no, me faltan tantas encuestas todavía. Y me, la, me falta de tal persona porque tengo exactamente quién ha, lo ha entregado y quién no. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento? ¿Algo que quieran? ¿Que tengan dudas? ¿Que quieran saber? ¿Inquietudes? Es Inglés Corporativo Regal International, ¿ok? Entonces, sí, es correcto. Okay. Eh, donde lo va? Okay. Aquí en cuando... ¿Y el, ¿Y el curso se llama Intermedio? Un momentito, ¿dónde estamos? Uno, ¿verdad? Uh, sí, acá. Entonces, eh, este es el que va a escoger. Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Este de acá. Y el nombre del curso. Mm, espera un momentito. Ah, este. Inglés Intermedio Módulo 1. Solo tiene que copy and paste. Ok, de acá, desde acá. Aquí está. Quiero ver. Um, aquí. Solo tiene que copy and paste. Copy. Y después viene acá y paste. Ok, entonces eh, ustedes ya pueden empezar a enviarlo. Veo que algunos ya lo hicieron. Entonces al finalizar debería de tener el, eh, la encuesta de todos. Con el nombre en la parte de abajo. Ok. Y echar una pregunta. En comentarios que hay que ponerle. Lo que usted desea. Cualquier comentario que usted quiera. Eh, Puede comentar en cuanto a cómo le ha parecido el curso, puede dar agradecimientos, pues lo que usted se le. Se le ya, ya, ya lo envié, ahora qué hago. Eso es todo, sí. Si sí, ya, sí. ya me lo envió, ¿a dónde lo envió? Donde decía enviar. Ok, bye. Entonces, cuando usted lo envía, le aparece una, una fotito que dice gracias, ¿verdad? Sí. Tome la captura de imagen a, es, a esa partecita de, que dice gracias. Después, ¿Eh? esa captura de imagen me la va a mandar al grupo, al grupo de clase, con, junto con su nombre en la parte de abajo. Usted va a poder ver que ahorita en la, en la clase todos están mandando las subcapturas con su nombre en la parte de abajo y así usted mismo lo va a hacer. Cuando digo captura de imagen, puede ser ya sea directamente capturando la imagen de su computadora o celular, sí, o si quiere tomar foto, igual, no hay problema. Ya, 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 ya.
¿Tú no me confirmas esto que habías dicho? ¿Perdón? Me confirmas, Luis Herida. Sí, perfecto. Excelente. Sí, no, lamentablemente, en ese momento tuve que contestar unos, 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 unos clientes de, de, de redes sociales que yo estuve de la mujer. Ah, ok. Ok. Bueno, entonces eso sería... Sí, está bien, no hay problema. Ahí lo tiene. Ok. Eh, entonces, a todos están, estamos claros, todos te, lo completamos. ¿Algún, ¿Alguna inconveniencia antes de que terminemos con la actividad? No, teacher. No. Ok. Going once. Going twice. Ok, bueno, entonces vamos a terminar, vamos a dar por terminada esta actividad y le, um, le agradecemos ahí a Flor que nos apoyó ahí con, con la información eh, y pues um, cualquier cosa también pues estemos ahí a la, a la orden, ¿verdad? Si necesitan a, ayuda con cualquier otra cosa para mandar la encuesta, ¿ok? Ok, chicos, vamos a continuar ahí con la actividad que teníamos antes. Uh, we're going to be um, completing the answers for the um, the the future. Okay, so let me share. No, no, sorry, that's not it. I'm gonna stop sharing. <laughs> okay, here it is. Okay, can you guys see it? Yes teacher. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. Okay, so we're going to start with this one, and you guys can just give me the answer. So you can open up your microphone and give me your answers. Okay, so I can't come with you on Sunday. I will have. I'm having. I had in. I I will have, or I'm having. I have it. I am having. Okay. All right. Yes. I'm having. Be very, very careful, guys. Oh, on Sunday. Yes. Be very careful because I heard many of you guys saying, I having. It is not I having. Okay. It is not I having. It is I'm having. Okay, I'm, I'm, you have to pronounce the, the verb to be. I'm having. If you don't say I'm having, it would be like saying yo teniendo. Does that make sense to you if I say yo teniendo? No, right? Does that make sense? So the same thing happens in English. If you eliminate that uh, that that verb to be, it will sound Um, very strange. So you, ha you have to make sure you say, I'm happy. Okay. Next. Um, next is, you look tired. I will help. I will help. I will help you finish the document. Very good. Yes. I will help. And the reason is, is because This is an offer, right? An offer or a promise. More like an offer. And this one is a, is a, is a plan, right? A, a, an arrangement. Because we're sure that we're tra the training on Sunday. We are not, it's not something you're thinking about, it's something you're sure. Number four, the kitchen manager It's flying. It's flying. It's flying. It's flying to Italy on Friday. It is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Notice here are the tickets. So it's for sure, 99% sure. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Good. Next. Uh, yeah, I'm not... The owner. Welcome. 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 The owner is coming. Is coming. 
the, the owners come in to talk to us about training solutions. Again, it's you're you're pretty sure of it. Right? You're, and it's not just a, a, a guess. It's not a promise. It's not a decision. It's um, you're pretty sure. But it's a decision. <laughs> Um, that can but, be a promise, but they didn't. Donor will come to talk us, mm -hmm. to us for a decision. Um, but do, do you know is the plan or do you know is yeah. uh, the yeah. be sure? That the owner and don't have a, 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 a windows time frame <laughs> yes right. time expression don't have a time expression right but remember what i told you you either it's either the time expression is either in the sentence or in the context now if you are talking about the context tells you if the owner told you ahead of time that means it's an arrangement. If you know that the owner is coming to talk to us, it's because they talked to you about it. They didn't make the decision in that moment, right? Mm -hmm. They made that plan ahead of time, okay? So in the context, it lets you know that there is an arrangement. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, however, however, I would accept also the fact that um, it is possible to use the will and, but it's in this case, it's not because it's a decision made in the moment, okay? It's because we can, we can use it as like a, a promise. Mm -hmm. Like saying like, don't worry about it, don't worry. The owner will come to talk mm -hmm. about the training solutions. So it's like, um, like you're, it's a plan, you're, but I said, it's a promise, you're reassuring the person. It's like saying, no te preocupes. The owner will um, come to talk to us about training solutions. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, teacher. So it, it, like I said, that's the reason why I will accept both of them because it depends on the context itself. And the last one, he, it's not, not working. working next week. It's not or isn't. Okay. <laughs> the platform was accepting isn't was an issue. Isn't isn't working. Is it working? working. Okay. Oh, it's not working. Is and or it's not working. Okay, sure. En la plataforma no me dejó de ninguna forma. <laughs> me too. Me too, teacher. Con isa trabaja. Con isa funciona. Con qué? Con isn't con pero, la contracción. Pero usted lo copió de dónde? Porque yo oh, aunque lo escribí en otra parte, lo escribí. no ni ni escrito ni copiado de otro lado, nada. Sí lo puse mal. Tienes que tener cuidado con el apóstrofe. Tienes que escribir Ajá. el apóstrofe. El apóstrofe de inglés, no el que aparece. En la... Ajá. Pero no, aparece en la, la tecla la, del no. número. Ah, es en inglés. Eh, Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, ni modo, así lo dejé yo, porque pues. No me iba a dar duro ahí con eso. Eh, en mi teclado de la lato yo tuve un problema la vez pasada y es el, el apóstrofe que está abajo del question mark. El de cierre, de closing question mark. Claudia, la línea de los números. En inglés, en inglés. Ok, es en la first row of my keyboard. <laughs> eh, yes, the... but, but how, how can I achieve the, that? Uh, it's your, the third option, for example, with the add grade, it will be the third option. And with the upper, uh, for the upper letter, you could active the second option of your keyboard. Or just uh, Google apostrophe sign. Yeah, that's why I was going to say. Por una mala no me van a aplazar, así que Okay, all right, so, but you guys understand how this works, right? That's the important yes. thing. Yes. Good. All right, excellent. All right. Um, okay, let me clear this thing then. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, so, well, um, we're probably not going to have enough time for this part, but I'm actually going to do something else. Uh, this conversation. Uh, well, I'm going to skip those two questions, but we're going to read the conversation because, oh no, sorry, not the conversation, the, the, the information, sorry, about the information. Okay, about the training evaluation. Um, I'm getting two volunteers to help me read. Okay. Okay, go. Uh, okay, Wait. so hold on, hold on. So Javi will read the first paragraph. Who can read the second paragraph? Me, if you want. Okay, all right, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, are trainings implement only to cover problems with employees' performance? How do you evaluate the effect TV, F, I don't know, teacher, what is the pronunciation? Effect, effectiveness. effectiveness of training. That paragraph or the training evaluation? Um, the training evaluation. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Training evaluation. Asking you employees what they thought of the training is an important part of the evaluation of development program. A training evaluation questionnaire that the trainers fill out upon completing the program is an effective tool. It may be an electronic survey, though emails, a checklist or questionnaire. Right after the training is over. Okay. okay. Uh, trainee survey focusing on the application of the new skills once your workers have started using them, using them uh, measures the effectiveness of the training program. Companies must combine such information with objective evaluations to get a complete picture of training results. Okay, thank you very much, girls. Bravo. Okay, questions about vocabulary. No questions about vocabulary? I just have a question. The trainee is the person who um, gives the training, right? Is the one training the other? Or the trainee is the one receiving the training? Right. Just like in the word employees are the. Ah, okay. Okay. Then the word trainee. Uh huh. Okay. Is, um, the person that receives. Okay. Thank you. So, trainee. Is the person mm -hmm. who received the training. Any other questions? Um, the meaning of the word open. Mm. Which one? Open. Oh, upon. Mm. Upon, upon is another word for when. Okay. when. So uh, the trainees fill out Fill okay, so the uh, they have training a training evaluation questionnaire that the trainees fill out when they complete the program is an effective tool. Okay, okay, but in this context, teacher is mean like una vez. Um, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, not exactly una vez, but like. It's like another word for the word when. Mm -hmm. Oh, podría usarse once, hasta que, cuando, mm -hmm. hasta que complementen. Yeah, but it's more similar to the word when. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the reason, it's this is actually, it's a grammar point. And I don't want to get into it because 
it's just it's going to confuse you guys. It's simply that if you notice, it says completing the ing form. That's mm -hmm. actually what we. It's a contraction of a grammar grammatical structure, but in the full form, if if we if we were not going to be contracting this. If if we were not going to contract it, hold on, just give me a moment. Let me see. Okay. If we're not going to contract this part, what it would say is when um, they complete. Okay. So instead of saying. So instead of saying uh, upon completing, the full form is when they complete the development program. So that's why I'm saying that the word upon is similar to the word when. Okay. Okay. It's just that it's the it's use it's in, we use when sorry we use upon instead of when when it's a contraction. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to get you guys to do that. And believe it or not, we've come to the end of our class. Mm. Amazing, but um, incredible. Yeah, we have been able to finish off this level. Um, and of course, we've done it um, well. We've done it with success. And I thank you guys uh, for uh you know making this level success because really this is about you no, this is not really about me this is about you guys that you know your participation and everything really does make a difference so i thank you for that um and i hope you guys will continue doing that um you know in the courses to come so we're just going to be doing our last part which is um taking the attendance okay, okay. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So we're going to start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Javit. Present teacher. Great. Andres. Present teacher. All right. Um, Dennis Orlando. No, right? Okay. Um, Edgar, Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. Great. Um, and uh, Ed, Edith Jorleni, I guess not, right? Irvin? Present teacher. Great. Fabiola? No, right? Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Great. Irene? Present teacher. Okay. Ivan? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, Luis? Present teacher. Great. Manuel? No, right. Uh, Natalia? Present teacher. Wendy? Present. Great. Uh, Warner. Present teacher. Great. Um, hold on, give me a moment. Give me one second. Okay. Um, sorry, some of what? Okay. Um, Yvonne? Present. Good. Um, Edgar Enriquez? Jose? Jose Montes? And Jose Ayala? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay, guys, well, that will be all for today um, and for this course. <laughs> so thank you guys for um, being so wonderful. And uh, we're going to start, remember, we're going to start um, the next level is so tomorrow is the only day that um, you're going to be um, having off. And after that, 
Eh, <laughs> and after that, starting on Thursday. So that will be it for everybody, guys. Um, and uh, Irene, I have uh, the one-to-one -one session with you. And that will be all. I will see you guys um, next um, on Thursday. <laughs> See you, teacher. see you, teacher. See you, Warner. See you in two days. See you, yes. teacher. Okay. See you, see you Irvin. Glad to meet you. All right. Nice meeting you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right. I'm going to. I think. I think Josué, are you there? Josue? I think Josue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he probably had to do something at work. Okay, so we'll just, all right. See you, Josue. See you Thursday. Uh oh, hold on. See you, Josue. See you Thursday. Yeah, I'm working right now. <laughs> well, it's okay. Don't worry about it. See you Thursday. Take care. Okay. Take care, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Okay. See you, Irene. See you. All right, Irene. So, what can I help you with? Tell me. Okay, uh, I have problem with pla with my platform because some exercise I can in español. Yo los hago, pero no me pasa, no me pasa. No sé si es por el apóstrofe. Hoy escuché que estaban mencionando eso. Este, no sé, teacher, si usted me puede ayudar porque hoy por la tarde me hablaron y me dijeron que si no podía resolverlos que hablara, que les hablara mañana. Bye. Entonces, uh, si quiere eh, comparte la pantalla y yo le yo le ayudo con eso. Okay, vaya, veamos ahorita. Pasó, Irene. Ahorita, teacher, en estos momentos. Ok, vaya, no hay problema. Ahorita, ahorita.
en esa, por ejemplo. No me pasa ninguna y lo he intentado de muchas formas. Ok, uh, veamos, eh, póngame desde el principio para ver qué es lo que dice. Okay. Would it, it be better to revise the manual before printing? Ok, vaya, yo le sugiero que literalmente copy and paste. Entonces, okay. por ejemplo, el wouldn't, no sé si he notado que el wouldn't yeah. minúscula, puede ser que también por ahí vaya la cosa. Copy, paste. Espera, espera, espera. Regresa, regresa, regresa. Que no sé si hay un espacio. No. Ok, no, está bien. Ok. okay. Voy a intentar enviarlo a ver si se queda. Sí. Okay. Eso es, entonces. Uh -huh. sí. Le digo copy and paste. Sí, puede ser, ajá. No, pero es que it will be good if... Este no me funcionó. If, if, if qué? If changed. Ok, ahí le falta un, un verbo. Es un subject. If who changed? Who changed? We okay. need a if we change. Yes, if we change. No, no me pasa, let's go. Um. It will be good. We. It will be good. If we. We. Change. Uh -huh. The code. Lo voy a copy paste todo. Punto. ¿Qué pasó con el punto? Ay, no. Lo voy a hacer nuevamente. Ay, de acuerdo. Es que si, si usted notó, el punto está separado. No, 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 no. Está separado. Bye. Ajá. Dejémoslo así porque yo creo que así se le va a aceptar. No. No se lo acepta. No. Lo voy a quitar, lo voy a acercar, tal vez así está. Ok. Intentamos así. Así sí. Va. Ok. En, en no sé, teacher, porque si quieres sigo intentando yo por mi cuenta y si tengo problemas le aviso mañana para no quitarle más su tiempo. No hay problema. Eh, dele, dele. Prefiero que, que ahorita que me tiene en la línea. Ok. Para eso estoy. Y el, y el, ese es el final. No, esos son los ejercicios. El final lo tengo pendiente de hacer, pero 
como me dan los mismos errores, por eso no puedo pasar el final, pero ahora que ya sé eso, ya me va a ser más fácil. Correcto. Eh, sí, y no se le olvide hacer el final, porque sin el final no le da la nota. Ok, hasta, hasta hay que cuando no tienen en todo lo demás, no le dan la nota. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos, Fisher, para hacer eso? Mañana. No, hasta las 12. De hoy, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, training está mal escrito. No, esa es una pregunta. Como es una pregunta. Que... Okay. Muy bien. Ok, and I'm going to do en estos momentos mi, mi examen final para que quede ya listo a las 12. Vaya, está bien, excelente. Sí, haga eso porque sí necesitamos que, eh, que tenga todo, que, que esté todo listo, ¿verdad? Que, todo, que haya terminado todo. Ok. ¿Hay bien. problema en los otros ejercicios? No, no. ¿No? ¿Segura? Sí. Ok. Ok. Excellent. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Irene. And um, I hope everything goes well for, for the final. ¿Verdad? Si tiene problemitas, también escríbame. Voy a estar pendiente. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Irene. Take care. See you Thursday. Bye. Bye.